They're battery-powered electronic cigarettes, or e-cigs, and they're intended to simulate smoking without the health hazards. E-cig advertising offers a smoking experience without the tobacco and with fewer cancer-causing chemicals. But Sue Hagee says puffing on an e-cig is no better than lighting up. I understand that the e-cigarettes do not contain the carcinogens, but because they still have the nicotine in them, that doesn't really make them safe. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say 2 in 10 smokers used e-cigs in 2011. By 2013, people bought over $1.5 billion worth of e-cigarettes. That's chump change in an $80 billion tobacco business, but e-cigs are gaining ground. My lung capacity feels way better than it was before. Don't have a lingering cough, and honestly, I mean, it's nice to wake up and not, like, smell your breath and be like, smells like cigarettes from the night before. The American Cancer Society says there's no scientific evidence that e-cigarettes are a safe substitute for traditional cigarettes, and there's no proof they help smokers quit. The Food and Drug Administration is considering regulating the devices. Putting nicotine into the body is harmful, whether it is, it's flavored as vanilla or pina colada, <laughs> it's still a health issue. Citigroup research estimates e-cig sales will double to $3 billion by next year. In Salisbury, I'm Phil Harper reporting.